Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Thursday, December 30th, 2021. Last day, really, I'm going to be able to say that. Tomorrow is the New Year's Eve, and then we get into 2022. And how will 2022 start? Well, a bit on the stormy side. So we'll talk about that and more as we move on into next week. So let's dive into this forecast right now of course please like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell you know, you know what to do now we have an area of low pressure to our south and that is producing some pesky showers some areas of fog visibility in some locations are below a mile other locations range anywhere between four to eight eight miles in uh, the showers so the showers aren't all that heavy uh, but the low clouds and fog certainly is creating some issues, especially for uh, travel and from flight. You can see some uh, IFR conditions are in place around JFK. That's likely going to cause some delays. Temperatures are above freezing, which means all of this is rain, with temperatures in the upper 30s to lower 40s over the interior, lower to mid 40s around the New York City metro, and mid to upper 40s around the Philadelphia metro. On our surface map and radar, you can see our stationary front off to our south we have a cold front and trough that's approaching the area and that's leading to scattered showers throughout the region after this cold front clears through the region late this afternoon we'll start to clear out just in time for new year's eve so overall new year's eve is looking pretty good on our visible satellite picture you can see plenty of cloud cover hanging around the region and on the infrared satellite picture as we go off to the west towards the ohio river valley and upper midwest Tranquil conditions are in place for now that is heading for us, but trouble is brewing off to the west as this cold front starts to get its act together. So let's dive into this forecast for today. Look for a few pesky showers this morning, clearing out slowly in the afternoon with isolated showers lingering. Temperatures will rise, still rather mild, in the mid to upper 40s over the interior, lower to mid 50s along the coast. For tonight into tomorrow morning, look for clearing skies with temperatures falling off into the lower to mid 30s over the interior, upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast. With tranquil conditions continuing on through tomorrow afternoon, look for high temperatures to range from the lower to mid 50s over the interior and mid to upper 50s along the coast. Now around New Year's Eve, right around the clock of uh, struck of midnight, Look for tranquil conditions, temperatures generally in the 40s uh, with dry conditions, of course. So that's certainly going to be nice if you are going to be staying up or going out or whatnot. For Saturday morning, the first day of the new year, look for increasing cloud cover with showers increasing in coverage, becoming widespread towards the afternoon. Look for low temperatures to range from the mid to upper 40s, high temperatures to range from the lower to mid 50s over the interior mid 50s to lower 60s in the new york city metro and lower to mid 60s in the philadelphia metro on sunday a very interesting forecast first we get a wave of low pressure move through in the early morning hours with periods of rain then scattered showers throughout the day then we get another wave of low pressure developing along this slow moving cold front now ahead of this cold front temperatures are going to be very warm with high temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 50s over the interior and upper 50s to mid 60s along the coast but those temperatures free fall in the evening through the 40s 30s and 20s and with some lingering moisture hanging around with this wave of low pressure which will still be weak sunday night into monday morning there will be a threat for some snow showers and flurries and watch out for some slick roadways too on monday morning why? Because after experiencing temperatures in the 50s and 60s, well, guess what our low temperatures are going to be on Monday morning? How about the upper teens to lower 20s over the interior and lower to mid 20s over the suburbs, mid to upper 20s in your urban areas? It is going to be cold and it's going to be a heck of a shock. In the afternoon, look for clearing skies, breezy conditions, temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 20s over the interior upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast about a 20 to 35 degree drop in high temperatures from the day before so that's certainly some impressive stuff on tuesday high pressure will be in control with sky cloud cover look for temperatures to range from the upper teens to lower 20s over the interior mid to upper 20s along the coast high temperatures in the upper 30s to lower 40s 
On Wednesday, a cold front will approach, and this is going to lead to increasing cloud cover, but I'm not looking for any type of precipitation with this cold front. Temperatures will range from the upper 20s to mid 30s over the interior and upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast. For lows, high temperatures will range from the mid to upper 40s over the interior, upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast. And then things get interesting on Thursday. Now, we have a cold front that has moved through, right? So cold air starts to build in. Look for increasing cloud cover as a wave of low pressure in the Tennessee River Valley approaches the area with fresh cold air behind it. Temperatures on Thursday will range from the mid to upper 20s over the interior, lower to mid 30s along the coast. High temperatures in the lower to mid 30s over the interior, upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast. Now, notice we have this wave of low pressure that shows up here. This is what we call a Miller B transfer, okay? This is a Miller B storm. Talked about this a lot in the winter forecast, yesterday's uh, live chat. These are the type of storms you could expect in the winter. There is support on Thursday night into Friday morning of something here developing. I want to touch on it because God knows everyone's going to show it on social media. So, yes, there is potential for a storm. However, this is likely a bit overdone, okay? With that being said, we'll have to watch it because this type of storm fits the type of pattern that we are in. Cold air is in place. You have an area of low pressure in the subtropical jet stream. Tries to ignite this Miller B storm. Mischief uh, is achieved. However, I must stress, a lot can change in this forecast. So we'll keep an eye on it. I wanted to touch on it because I already got... Plenty of emails about it, so we'll keep an eye on it, see how it shakes out. Don't be surprised if this is a much weaker or warmer solution. So we'll keep an eye on this and see what transpires. That is your forecast for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino, and as always, stay safe out there.